How are we doing survivors? This is Reaper and welcome back to my channel. Um, so we've got a little bit of a different video for you today. Um, it's not going to be gameplay. We're going to go in depth, uh, well, in a little bit depth in regards to things that are happening within the community at the moment. Um, especially in regards to some of the promises that devs have made and some of the severe lack of communication. So we're going to dig down into some of the things that are going on in the community channels at the moment um, and just some of the false promises that these devs have given us. Before we go into this video though, I just want you to watch a little clip. This was from back in April of this year from the third round anniversary. I'm sure if anyone watched the stream, you remember it. But check out this clip and we'll have a little bit of chat about it after. The future of our game. A lot of players are very concerned about the future plans of our game. Could you please give us some previews? Yes. Uh, at first, we will do a lot of work uh, to finish what I have said above. Mm -hmm. And another thing is we will gradually to uh, make more seasons as Euro and add more special events. Uh, for example, the mm -hmm. players all love the mini games, yeah. and we, we will add more mini games. And we will continue to improve the active player, mm -hmm. especially the small players' experience in the game. Mm -hmm. And we will continue to uh, to improve the battlefield. So what can we really say about that, guys? Um, I'll be totally honest, when I actually listened to that in April, um, just the nervousness in... I know there's a bit of a language barrier. I know their first language, obviously, isn't English, more than like Chinese. Um, so they are struggling a little bit with the English language. But just sh the sheer lack of confidence in the dev's voice when he actually said these little bits um, in the anniversary. Um, the whole aimed it... <sighs> The events, mini games, um, how he made out that the mini games were to help these smaller players. I don't know about anyone else, but the mini games, I do enjoy some of them, but mini games aren't a concern for me in the game. The game itself is more important than mini games. Um, and especially when he aims it on helping small players. Yes, you can win some rewards from the mini games, but every single mini game has still got a pay to win or a pay side of the event. Every single one. Um, so, and even if there isn't a pay size to the event there's a leaderboard which the wells are always top of the leaderboard because they're spending so many rubies on the event um things like the town hall tests um the grab event i absolutely love it hoping that i'll get myself a town hall spending a thousand rubies on each one i gotta admit i've done probably just short of 300 grabs on it i wasted so many rubies on it for the small players that isn't achievable. Massive Wells, they keep pumping the money in and they can hit that Town Hall Chess Crane event as many times as they want over and over. So it's not helping the small players. Um, as I said, just a sheer lack of confidence in their voice when they're talking about it. It just didn't convince me that there was much care there. So one of the biggest problems at the minute is the communication from the devs and no clear path of the future for the game. As I said, they've said that on the anniversary, gate, uh, anniversary event, players were concerned about the future of the game. They committed it they're going to make a difference. They're going to keep working on stuff. We're now months down the line from April and the game's getting worse and worse, unfortunately. It's sad to say. I still love the game. The game itself, absolutely love. In regards to the game moving forward, this game hasn't moved for a long, long time. Um, we will talk about the seasons in just a second, um, but the game's just not moving forward. Let's just jump back to one of the other clips as well in regards to when the question got asked about closing the gap between small players in wells have a little look at this guys it's about a four minute clip but again this was anniversary and then we'll talk about the thoughts after this one let's have a quick look the gap is too big john are you aware of this situation yes this is currently the serious problem in the game the gap is too big just like shark o'neill and me <laughs> yeah yeah we, we don't want to see this yeah but first of all the wheels devoted a lot to gain their strength so there is no doubt they are, most, they are stronger than mm -hmm. the others. But the problem is the gap is too big, big enough that even one or two wheels can change a result in a season. Yes. And there is like, like a co collaboration for them to mm -hmm. fight side by side. Yeah. So, uh, so the result is the wheels is very are very tired mm -hmm. and the Player, other players, especially the small players, can't participate in the clan wars. Yes, this is a terrible situation. What will you do to solve this problem? Yeah, we will continue to improve this situation. Uh, so let's 
uh, introduce some relevant plans. Mm -hmm. uh, first, we will add a new feature uh, named Power Rally okay. and Power Gaussian. A uh, Power Rally is a special rally that uh, the players in the same in the same clan can mm -hmm. launch a Power Rally, and they can attack the build clan buildings, the communities, and the passengers. Mm -hmm. And in the rally, uh, they, ha they will have additional buffs. The buffs depends on the number of the uh, <coughs> of the clans, of the of the rally members. And uh, we hope uh, even five even five small players can get a very uh, powerful attack through the power rally. Wow, sounds amazing. Power Rally and Power Garrison. I really can't wait to try these new features. But except for those new features, what about the old events in the game? Do you have any optimization plans for those old events in the game? Yes, we are summarizing all the rewards, all the rewards of the event. Uh, for example, uh, daily task, uh, talk to events, and other weekly events, we will increase these these rewards and uh, let all the players, especially the active players, the small players, can grow faster and effic efficiently. Mm. And another thing is <coughs> the two. Uh, we we <coughs> we will focus on two key points. Uh, number one is the town hall level. Number two is the troop tier. Mm. These are very important for players. And if the gap between the troop tier is too big, then the players can't enjoy the uh, the battle. Yeah. So we will release more rewards about this for the active players. Okay, I believe all players love more rewards. That's really wonderful. But what about battle losses? You know, battle losses are a great headache for all players. Oh, the battle losses is is very awful. Uh, it, it will affect the, the players' daily daily growth, yeah. and uh, even even uh, will uh, get a, get a, mm. a big losses. Uh, yeah. he, he will cost them too much time to yeah. kill all, all his troops. Yeah. Uh, so we will continue to reduce the battle losses, and uh, let everyone have a better experience. Okay. Okay. So. so again, guys, after listening to that back again, um, just the confidence in them speaking, this lack of confidence, the nerves, which I know, again, never in front of a camera. I know full well what it's like to get in front of the camera, and I've only got a very small audience. For these, for those guys to be jumping on in front of thousands of people, I can totally understand there's some nerves and some confidence issues. But it just doesn't sit well with us players when you can see the nervousness, the lack of confidence. Some of the stuff that he goes into about the concern of the gap between the Wells and normal players um, and the power rally, pa ah, power rallies and power garrisons. Absolutely brilliant. I love them. I reckon they're great. But again, small players can join. Wells can join. Get a power garrison, put five Wells in it, that hitting something, you're done for. So as much as they want to say that they're trying to close the gap, it's just not visible. Um, they also say about increasing rewards. Yes, they have increased the rewards on events. Um, quite nicely, I do like how they have increased the rewards on the events. But how is that closing the gap? Small players get the rewards. Wells get the rewards. So there's still no closing that gap. I know it's easier said than done. In a game like this, you're always going to have the people that spend. You're always going to have people that don't spend. A gap's going to arise. But the gap in this game, I feel, is absolutely massive. Um, one of the other points as well, they say they want to close this gap. Just quickly jump off this a minute um, and take a look at a few of these. Let me know your thoughts on these. So I just had a quick flick through the Facebook community page um, and since the anniversary, this is what we've seen. So the first thing straight after the event we see go up is the Town Hall Chest event. Um, as I say, I reckon it's a brilliant event. Unless you're winning spend loads, you can't not get a chest. And then here is an, something else we see quite often popping up on the community pages, um, the Super Value Packs. Again, these are packs which are out of the price range for even small spending players and access to Wells again. And yet another pack, a uh, dog pack that is available to the Wells. Um, these packs, bearing in mind, normally start for about £100. Um, so yeah, another pack which is accessible to the Wells, not the smaller players. 
Another feature that got added to the game a little while back, recruits. Um, these again, if you want to get yourself a decent recruit, you're going to have to buy yourself a pack. Um, these are advertised left, right and centre again, making well stronger again. Another super value pack added again. Uh, this is another favourite of the devs, this whole badge which they do. Again, on their website, it's all based around topping up. The more you top up, the more badges you get, the more badges you get, converts into prizes. Yet again, another heavy spending event. Then. Another favourite of the devs, uh, Town Hall skins available to purchase on the website. We also got here, again, legendary skins uh, for vehicles. This is, again, another major problem, creating bigger gaps between wells and smaller players. Um, vehicles can cause some serious damage, especially with the modification of skins, especially when they're all leveled up. Um, again, accessible only to big spenders. And it just continues. As you can see, it's all modification packs, town hall packs, online discount events. All, again, it's just aimed at heavy spenders. Um, all aimed at wells, normal players just cannot compete. So this whole saying that you're trying to reduce the gap between wells and normal players, it's just, it's not happening, it's being proved. So there, as you can see, the closing the gap between wells and normal players is virtually non-existent. Um, you can tell that by what they're putting up on socials, by the modification plans, by the town hall skins, by all the buy events. Um, yes, there has been some little improvements, um, in game which don't cost money but we've got to remember if it doesn't cost money it's accessible to the small players and it's accessible to the wells which is going to be the case on absolutely everything um so it's just it's all going to be one vicious circle but i think the biggest problem we're seeing at the minute with the devs is the lack of communication and the lack of direction the game's going i just want to show you one more clip um in regards to seasons um check this clip out and then i'll jump back after and we'll have our final chat before i leave it Making for seasons and other events. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, another big topic. Uh, the problem is uh, the gap between the wheels and the others is too big. And another thing is uh, the player's number is limited in a single season. Mm. So matchmaking, especially the group matchmaking, is very hard. Yeah, indeed, you're absolutely right. But I believe you already have some good ideas for season matchmaking, right? Yeah, at present we have already have uh, a set of methods to calculate each server's comprehensive strengths and we will gradually uh, optimize them by relocation mm -hmm. and server merge yeah. and we will con continue to optimize the methods to calculate the strengths better and give, give the players in every region's better experience. Okay, so I have noticed that the Carnival Boss event is under test in Season X in Desperate Search. Is this another way to try to optimize the season matchmaking? Yeah, that's a special gameplay, but we, uh, we are testing it in, the, in, in some special season. Mm -hmm. And we, we add more rewards and add the season buffs through this. And we hope it can also help the players get a special season, get a better season. And another thing is, uh, another thing is the the players, especially the active players, mm -hmm. the small players, they are the foundation of a season. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I think uh, to improve their growth, as I mentioned. Uh, it's also ha can help to, it can also help the matchmaking of the season. Yeah, sure. I think it sounds great, but that is for the matchmaking of season. So that was their details in regards to the matchmaking. Um, I'm sure we'll all agree with the seasons we've been in, um, and you've only got to look on different social platforms, the matchmaking is still horrendous. Um, not only for seasons, but also things like Lions We Cross. I think we had one this week which was against a 3 billion power region yet our region was 19 billion where's the sense of the matchmaking on that it is just horrendous um, but i think the biggest point in regards to seasons at the moment is how they are skipping seasons and they haven't made it known to any of us for example i've just finished season three they went into 3.5 season ended we don't we had relocations and then magically we chucked into season six um it's also happening with the players that are in season six seven and eight um they're finishing their season they're being thrown straight into sx 
Um, whether there's any meaning behind this from the devs, whether this is the devs admitting defeat and just wanting everyone on the same map, whether they've got future plans after SX, the problem we've got is communication from the devs has been horrendous. Um, they're skipping these seasons and we're not being told why. Um, a few people have contacted customer services. Apparently now the seasons, even though they're numbered, that means nothing. It's just a graphic. Um, you could get plucked and put into any season once you finish the season. But again, it's content and it's things like this which we really need to hear about from the devs. The community needs to hear from you guys. Um, if there is any devs watching this video, I highly doubt there is, but if there is any devs, please, please, please take some advice from the players within the community. Um, little snippets out of what my video here, please take some advice on it jump on the Facebook page. It does make me actually wonder how much the devs are actually looking at the Facebook community group. It is absolutely full of stuff, which is players complaining about the same issues that I've highlighted in this video. Um, we love the game. We absolutely love the game. This is why we're here. But there is a large amount of wells on the earlier regions, and I mean a very large amount of wells on the previous regions that are currently deciding whether to stay within the game or jump to Age of Empires or another similar game purely because they feel this game is coming to a standstill so this video yes it is criticizing a little bit what the devs have told us and criticizing the game but it's more of a plea to the devs please 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 start listening to the community we're the ones that have made you the money not necessarily myself i'm not a big spender but the wells out there that have spent absolutely thousands in game they're the ones that are lying in your pockets devs they're the ones that are giving you the money to be able to run these servers they're the players that are paying the wages of staff within the Walking Dead survivors. Um, so please show us a little bit of respect, listen to our feedback, listen to the problems and what we're facing in game and please just help support the community out there. Anyway guys, I'm going to leave it at that. I rabbited long and this video has probably been a lot longer than what I want. Thanks for everyone that has watched. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button for more future content. But until next time guys, take it steady, keep on surviving and I'll catch up with you all soon.